this video we will learn about the different uh, mathematical symbols used in economics okay so let us take the calculus first so first symbol is that the limit is x tends to 0 of f of x okay so this is the first symbol also we have another symbol that is the limit is x tends to infinity of a function f of x okay next we have the derivatives notations there are actually four kinds of derivative notations that we use first is Langrage's notation second is Leibniz then we have Euler's notation and Newton's notation so first derivative that is being shown by the Langrage's notation it is being shown by like this y prime this denotes the first derivative of a function and similarly we have uh, the second derivative is denoted by y double prime okay so this is actually the Langrage's notation that we often come across in the economics uh, rather in the calculus also then we have Leibniz notation and it is uh, quite familiar it, this is like dy upon dx this denotes the first derivative of uh, f function f of x okay similarly second derivative will be denoted by d square y upon dx square okay so these are the first derivatives then we have the second derivatives if we have the partial derivatives you know that we denote by uh, this symbol del y upon del x and similarly we will have here the partial derivative of uh, del y del square y upon del x square okay then we have the Euler's notation it is being denoted by d subscript y this denotes the first derivative then we have d square y uh, sorry d square subscript y here this denotes the second derivative and lastly we have the newton's uh, uh, you know notation that is being denoted by y dot this denotes the first derivative and then we have y double dot this denotes the second derivative okay also we have another notation i don't know uh, who derived uh, who formed that very notation that is uh, that is f of if f prime x okay this denotes the first derivative and similarly f double prime x this denotes the second derivative okay so this was all about the calculus let us take another uh, you know other uh, symbols that we often come across we have from the integral calculus that is the integral we also call this the indefinite integral of a function f of x with respect to x okay uh, i have actually made all the videos on these very uh, these very things i have explained them okay so i'm just trying to show what exactly is meant by this this is the integral of a function f of x with respect to x and then we have the definite integral that is the definite integral of a function f of x with respect to x such that x lies x ranges from a to b this we call the upper limit upper limit and this we call the lower limit okay then we have other notations that is if i write it here then we have other notations like this del y this denotes dy what we call it we call it the first differential of y okay first differential of y then we have d square y we call it the second differential differential of y okay there are other uh, you know notations in the uh, what we call in the calculus but i will write only these let's take now the what we call the matrices and determinants what are the symbols that are used in that very stuff so let me write it here matrices and determinants determinants okay so first uh, symbol is that is a prime or we write it, it like this a superscript t that is a t this denotes the transpose of a matrix transpose i have explained how what is meant by transpose how do we interchange rows into columns that gives us the 
transpose this is transpose of matrix a matrix a then we have a inverse okay that is inverse of a matrix a this is another symbol that we use then we have this symbol we call it it is the determinant of a second or let me write it here determinant of matrix a okay then we have another symbol what we call the jacobian determinant jacobian determinant then we have the this uh, symbol we call this the hessian determinant hessian determinant whatever you call it hessian determinant or simply we call it the plain hessian determinant then we have another symbol what we call that is like this h bar we call it bordered bordered hessian determinant hessian determinant i have shown all these in my uh, channel where do we use hessian jacobian determinant simple determinant or what is meant by these uh, air transpose or uh, the inverse matrices okay so then we have also this we call this the rank of the matrix okay rank of matrix okay so now let's come to the sets now what are the now let's come to the sets now so in the set is what we use let us give some brief and uh, notational notations here so we have like this a belongs to l s that says us element a belongs to the set s then we have another notation that is a it simply tells us a element a does not belong to set s then we have another notation let us say a this symbol shows us that uh, you know set a is a subset of set t okay similarly we have another like this t belongs to sorry t this symbol s it says t, uh, set t includes set s okay then we have this symbol khuda akun pana this symbol shows us the union of set a and sorry let me write it here for the sake of simplicity this is simply the union of set a and b okay and then we have this symbol what we call it shows us the intersection okay intersection of a set a and b okay in the differential equations we also use let me write it here differential equations we have y dot like this we use in the newton's method that is dy upon dt it simply shows us the time derivative time derivative of function y and similarly we have uh this and um, this symbol del y subscript t it shows us the first uh, difference and d i f f e r difference of y t okay time difference obviously then we have del square y t it shows us the second difference second difference of y t okay there are many more symbols that we often encounter in the economics but i have only showed these uh, you know that i uh, you, you know find out uh, you know very helpful in the mathematical economics i hope i make myself clear in this video you will find this very video, video helpful thank you